men playing with our hearts that was having a blast. If you were to see where we come from, we were just innocent kids from Birmingham, England, playing music, you know. We saw this ad in the music shop saying, Ozzy Zig requires gig. Ozzy Zig. The really stupid ad. Well, you turned up. Look what happened. When we wrote the very first song, it was sort of doomly, and we just came up with the title, Black Salmon. <laughs> Casey was the main lyricist with Black Sabbath. It was just a, a name, really. If it had been called White, White Monday, people probably wouldn't have listened to the lyrics or listened to the band. But Black Sabbath, it gets your attention. There ain't nobody on this planet that's come up with continuous great guitar riffs that will stand the realm of time as Mr. Tony Iommi. What do you do uh, to relax? Uh, smoke. <laughs> <laughs> Sign them all. We, we used to rape and pillage everywhere we went. We were nuts. My sole objective when I go on stage is to get that crowd as crazy as I can possibly get them. And I will do anything to do that. Oh, yeah. We didn't know back then that we were going to be originators. We weren't even concerned about it at that time. I think we were more concerned with <laughs> being able to get out and, and play. But they're all like brothers, so it's like a family, you know. It's, it's about as close as four heterosexual men can get. <laughs> <laughs> to induct Black Sabbath into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Please welcome, from Metallica, Lars Ulrich and James Hetfield. I wonder how many times on this very night in the last 20 years that the words, if it weren't for you, we wouldn't be here, have been uttered. Well, here we go once more. Bill, Geezer, Ozzy, and Tony, if it weren't for you, we wouldn't be here. Obviously, if there was no Black Sabbath, there would be no Metallica. And if there was no Black Sabbath, hard rock and heavy metal, as we know it today, would look, sound, and be shaped very, very differently. Over the past 20 years, remarkable talent has been hailed on this special night. Talent whose names have been and will forever define the broader term rock and roll. So it's really interesting to me how few of these names are synonymous with a single particular subgenre of music. And as one who has fought labeling at any opportunity given, I hereby not only acknowledge, but scream from every rooftop that Black Sabbath is and always will be synonymous with the term heavy metal. Damn right. Are they taking the piss? The question, are they taking the piss, still rumbles in my mind. It's 1986, and we're fortunate enough to land the much-coveted support slot on Ozzy's Ultimate Sin Tour. We would, when given the chance to sound check, often start jamming on any number of Sabbath songs. Apparently, as the hallowed sounds of our meek attempt at Sabbath music reached into Ozzy's dressing room, his first reaction, so I was told, was, are they taking the piss? And as we were later threatened with, if indeed we were taking the piss, we would be at the receiving end of something I was unfamiliar with at the time, namely a uh, Birmingham handshake. <laughs> I wish I could only imagine the horrors. So I can now answer Ozzy's question in person face to face. No, Ozzy, we weren't taking the piss. We were just four snot-nosed kids on our first go-around in the big leagues, hoping that one of the key people, that would be you, Ozzy, responsible for bringing us to that sound check, would honor us in a moment of the planet spontaneously aligning by joining us on stage and singing the words to the music, the very music that forever changed our lives, the music that was directly responsible for us not only being at that sound check on that stage on that tour, but also the very music that is directly responsible for us being here tonight celebrating your triumphs. Mm -hmm. 
And in our turn, we are honored to be the ones chosen from the thousands of bands you have spawned in your wake to honor you, Black Sabbath, and induct you into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame on this night, a decade late or not. And with that, Bill Geezer, Ozzy and Tony, I salute you with much love, respect, appreciation, and gratitude. Thank you. All right. Black Sabbath is mammoth riffs with menacing lyrics that make me oh so happy. <laughs> that was going to be my speech, and that was it. But uh, Springsteen kind of upped the ante last year. I'll go a little deeper. Picture a nine-year-old boy, quiet, well-behaved on the outside, but on the inside, boiling, boiling and dying for life to burst open with some sort of, any sort of stimulation. And the discovery of music was what was to burst it wide open. But not just any music. This was more than just music, a powerful, loud, heavy sound that moved his soul. You see, this timid nine-year-old constantly raided his roommate slash older brother's record collection and going against his older brother's wishes, played those off-limit records on the forbidden record player. <laughs> he was drawn to them like a magnet to metal. That's pretty lame, yes. Okay, I'll try again. More like a shy boy to his own loud voice. Those monstrous riffs lived inside him and spoke the feelings he could never put into words. Sending chills of inspiration through him from those gloomy lyrics and outlaw chords and all. <laughs> they helped crack the shell he was stuck in. Um, also scaring his mom and sister was an extra bonus. <laughs> And now, as the former nine-year-old speaks to you here, as an adult musician, I know those two words really don't go together, I realize that without their defiant sound, as my friend Lars has said, there would be no Metallica, especially with one James Hetfield. Never have I known a more timeless and influential band. They have spread their wonderful disease through generations of musicians. They are always listed as an influence by heavy bands to this day. They are loved and highly respected as the fathers of heavy music. It truly is a dream come true and an extreme honor for me and the nine-year-old still inside of me to induct into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame such a significant group of musicians. And in the words of our fearless leader, Ozzy Osbourne, let's go crazy! Here is Black Sabbath. First of all, I'd like to thank the people who arranged this for, to, for finally getting us up here because we have, we've been uh, chosen for about seven times, to my, my, my knowledge, to, to receive this award. And, it's, and this is the eighth time, and so we're finally here. I would also like to take the opportunity to thank my business manager, Colin Newman, and my lovely wife and family, Sharon and Amy and Kelly and Jack. Thank you very much. Thank you, my wife Gloria, son Biff and James. I'd like to dedicate this to Cliff Burton and Dimebag Daryl. Cheers. Yeah, thanks very much to all our friends out there and, um, and the band. Thanks for everything, guys. You forgot about us, didn't you? <laughs> and uh, th special thanks to Metallica. Thanks very much, guys. And uh, thanks for all coming and thanks for putting us here. It's nearly taken 40 years, but. Brilliant. Thank you to all the Sabbath fans uh, everywhere. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Uh, congratulations to all those who've been inducted this evening, as also. Uh, extra special greetings to the guys, James, Lars. Love you. Incredible. Thank you for the honours. 
Uh, hopefully our induction tonight will add further validation as other bands already inducted in the past years have begun to establish, which is that hard rock and heavy metal uh, may have an endearing and forever lasting place in rock history, and that's what we hope for. Coming up, Metallica honors Black Sabbath by rocking the Hall of Fame. We wanted to play the songs that really moved us. And later, an epic performance by Leonard Skinner. Thank you, Ronnie Van Zandt. God bless rock the whole thing. HBO and HBO On Demand free for two months. Easy. Here to honor Black Sabbath, Metallica.
you, Black Sabbath. We love you. Thank you, Dr. Pence. Wow.